this is Zach Helmberger and what I have for you today is a Keithley 197 auto ranging microvolt DMM or digital multimeter. Uh, when I first received this unit from uh, a seller on eBay the display here was doing like strange things um, whether it was on volts or ohms or amps and it seemed like volts worked the best but even that was a bit flaky and so what I did is I went to Amazon and I got let's see if I can focus on that, there we go, I got this stuff here called Deoxit uh, D100L and uh, this is uh, an amazing stuff um, it's a contact cleaning fluid and also a lubricant. So I, um, so I very carefully open up the box and uh, expose the, the the gang switches here, and I was able to just any possible orifice. I would put a teeny tiny bit of the uh, fluid in each of these things, including the on-off button, which was also flaky. And uh, and then I just worked the buttons over and over and over. And what happened was that the gang buttons here would start to act like they should. If you push this button in, that button would pop out. Or if you push in the ohms button, that button would go in and it would stay in until you push A or V. And um, uh, so I kept cycling things over and over. And finally, uh, I, you start you get results like this, where you have a very steady reading. And in this particular situation, I have a 22k ohm resistor, a uh, thin uh, metal film resistor, and I'll zoom in on that one here. And and this resistor, uh, so I'm using a four wire. Uh, this is one of the, one of the features of the Keithley 197 is you have a four wire ohms measurement capability. These two here send an excitation current into the resistance and then these two terminals here will measure the voltage that's uh, dropped across that resistor. So um, the alligator clips are the excitation and then uh, inside of that uh, I have the the two clips here for measuring the, the voltage across the the actual voltage across the resistor not including all the you know voltage drops of all, all the cables and stuff going into the meter and what you end up with is a, a very steady uh, reading uh, so it's twenty one thousand nine hundred and fifty three point one ohm or point two uh, so it's right on the border between one and two uh, and then you can hit the relative button, which will, um, so I'll zero that out. And so now it's, it's uh, holding steady. And I've had this unit on for, you know, hours at a time, and it would, the drift was very small. So, it, you know, it could just be the changing in the temperature of the room in the day. So now... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shine the light on here, my uh, headlamp, to as a heat source to heat up the thin film resistor, and we'll see if. Uh, whoops! Don't want to touch it, but I just want to. Yeah. Okay, that's a, that'd probably be good enough. Um, okay, so again, the meter's showing zero. So there's absolutely no change in the relative reading. So now I'm going to turn on the light, and we're going to heat up. Uh, and now you can immediately see minus 0 0.9, minus 1. That's 1 1.2 ohms, 1.4 ohms, 1.5 ohms, 1.6 ohms. So you can see that the resistance is changing as the as the resistor is being heated up by the LED light. And it's quite bright. Let's see if I can get 
get it in any closer. Um, okay, now it's it changes 3.7 ohms, 3.8 ohms, 3.9, 4.0. So now I'm going to turn the light off. Okay, now it's off. And immediately the numbers goes down. So I am extremely impressed with this meter. I, I thought I was going to have to throw this thing in the trash or something. Um, but uh, with the with the uh, deoxit here, uh, I was able to get this meter to function uh, normally. It's not perfect. I, I still have to kind of jiggle the switches a little bit sometimes. Um, but once it's acting correctly, it's pretty amazing. See, we're already down to less than one ohm now of delta on that uh, resistor as it cools off. And Newton's law of cooling is going to, so it's going to take a little while for this thing to come back down to um, zero delta. So I'm going to pause the video here and wait a couple of minutes. Okay, I am back. It's actually been a little bit less than a minute, and already we're, we're down to, there it goes, 0, 0.000. For, yeah, there you go. So, um, again, uh, very pleased with this result. Um, and uh, I think this is money well spent. Now I just got to take this in to be calibrated. Uh, at a calibration lab and we should be good to go uh, for actual use and we'll just switch it to volts here just for um, just to see it should turn off the relative yeah so it's reading zero point oh let's go to uh, um, let's go to the microvolt scale okay so we're getting um, between three and four microvolts. And now we'll switch back to ohms. Okay, yeah, see now, that's why it's acting funny. So now, uh, if I go back to volts, and now I switch back, see it's, it's doing funny business again. Turn off the relative. Uh, I'll go to amps, 0 0.06, okay, so that seems to be a stable. Now I'll go back to ohms. Oh, I know, uh, darf. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 21.9529. I, I had uh, the scale was on 200 ohm scale, which for a 21, 22k ohm, it would, it would read overload, so yeah. So yeah, so now yeah, so everything is is uh, behaving as expected. Um, so if you have any kind of the vintage uh, Keithley products, you know like 197, 179, you know all those kinds of uh, products like that that have these these things that are just kind of persnickety. Um, we put on the auto scale. Auto scale is working good. Um, 21.953, but I can go to 20k and and get an extra extra digit there so it's right on the edge of that scale so i can um, push it a little bit um so using this uh deoxid and carefully like on the plastic shaft of each of these buttons so you can try to get it down and if you can get it on the back side there's an opening on the back of the of these plastic uh switch each one of these as a little plastic case um you just go a teeny tiny bit in there and then you just work the button you just work them work them work them work them work them and then it'll um um the deoxid will will do its job and and you get a, a beautiful uh functioning meter here so thank you very much